We just spent an entire time talking to, to Morel. Uh, we got a lot of traps to chest to check. Boathouses, the ones Morel set up, the camp. He said to check these last, though. Who the hell are you, Gary? Hello, I'm Gary. Very generous of you to help us out, officer. You look completely different than your portrait. It is literally a completely different person. I do not understand. Yellow man. I mean, officer. Oh my god! The lieutenant raises his eyebrows slightly and takes out his notebook. You know, the crypto fascist part should have been a giveaway. I already saw that before. I already read that. I just didn't think it would be this quick. Holy shit. Yellow man. That sounds awfully familiar. Something to keep in mind for later. No, keep it far out of my mind. I'm just waiting for my friend Morel to finish up with his insect traps so we can return to civilization. I don't really want to talk to him, but I, I kind of want the XP. I like nature, just not this bloody coast. It's mostly drunks and degenerates that come here. Nobody's perfect. I'm sure you've been tempted to drink. Oh, I've been tempted. But someone has to stay strong for Revacall. What? Revacall? Serious question time. This man is no innocent. No one is. Is this your mug? Hold up the yellow man mug. My mug? Why would you think that? You said yellow man. That's not something people go around saying. Really? I hear it all the time. All in jest, of course. No offense meant to anyone. Okay, okay. I admit it. I threw the mug away in the trash container behind the hostel. I know I shouldn't have, and I am very sorry, officer. <laughs> You're not going to find me, are you? How do I find someone, Kim? Using a standard form, officer. The lieutenant pulls out a sheet of carbon copy paper, scribbles something on it, and then tears out the bottom page and hands it to Gary. It's 50 real. You're getting off easy. In return, we expect information. You have questions to answer, sir. Hell yeah. What did you do, Gary? Nothing. Nothing. Just answering some questions. <laughs> Helping out the law. Get him, get him, Kim. Get him, you know, roast his ass. Get his ass, Kim. Here we go. Stop pumping that sweet info. <laughs> How did you get into the trash container? I know a guy who works with the trash collection services, CS Municipal. Uh, he gave me a master key for the trash containers of Martinez. Oh my god. So I can use the Whirling's trash compactor to store my own stuff. Garbage disposal is expensive as hell. The damn Bohemians run it like a mob. The damn, the damn what? I'm sorry, okay? I thought I could cut costs. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have disgraced myself. Isn't Hemians one of the, the races? That the type, type B race in the all ghoul fucking shit. Disgraced? No need for the histrionic, sir. It was, after all, just a trash container. <laughs> Gets ask him. He studies his reaction. Gary doesn't answer. Did you put the clothes on the murder victim? Officer, please. Let me explain. It's not like that. He put the... Gary! Gary! Do explain. I was only cleaning up. I live right across the yard from where he was hanged, and I saw him stripped naked. All the clothes lying around in the yard, smelling. People are animals, you know? Yeah, yeah, uh, then? Then I came out to clean up the rags, because no one else would. I put them into the Whirling's trash, along with a broken mug, admittedly. Okay, 
I was coming to throw the mug away, and, well, I threw the mug there and the clothes too. Right. It was just civic duty. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's exactly what it was. Civic duty. Is this like a photo of a younger version of him? Or do they just just happen to have the model wrong? I can't tell. I can't tell they're trying to make like a statement. Like this is what he sees himself as this with like the ba like the flag and the banner behind him as some nationalistic hero. And in reality, he's just this strange, like balding old scientist man. Or if they legitimately uh just have the wrong model and it's a bug in the game. Because this game is not perfect. As he shifts uncomfortably, a series of clicks like the clinking of glass beads against one another as they roll across a hardwood floor. You've heard this sound before. What's that Where? sound? What sound? Don't mess with me. I haven't the slightest. There's lots of weird stuff out here in the reeds though. Insects, trash, could be the wind shifting some garbage nearby. Do you, do you for a chance have a, uh piece of armor every day the wind shifts the reeds and whatever was left in them tambourines and condom wrappers plastic and glass bottles the smell of decay i'm possible i'm honestly shocked they even have condoms in martinez armor no i i mean yes of course i know he was wearing armor but i don't know anything about it what sound really Fangs his arms out slowly, and this time his motions are soundless. There's lots of weird stuff out here in the reeds. Every day. God damn it. I hope I can help your investigation in my small way. Hmm. Gary. Gary. I told you everything I know, sir. I'm truly sorry for the mug, but I have nothing to do with that. No, no. I help Morel with research sometimes, and I've learned some things along the way, but I don't usually go in for picnics like this on my own. So why were you surprised to see my colleague, Gary? Not many sealites here, or anywhere, other than sail. I meant no offense, truly. Do you remember how, when we met Measurehead and I said the next races will be a really good one? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is that racist. He just resorts Gary as though he's presenting a work of art. I don't know, I liked the previous races better. Hey, man, all I meant was there are not many sealites around here. I'm just stating a fact. Lieutenant is a native of- I love being the supportive white friend, dude. I fucking love this job. It's so fun. And, and I know it's not like a good thing to be happy about and to be- to say it's fun. But I'm so glad that I'm in a situation where I can be the supportive guy and not get possibly like injured in real life. It's great. I, I can just go hard into it right now, you know, and not possibly catch a punch or a, a gunshot like in- in- in a protest or something. Um, even though, uh, yeah. Oh, yes. Of course he is. I was just speaking about his connections. Connections? Let's change the subject, okay? Connections? Not many. Do you remember how when we met, well, this. Is Are you racist. Gary? Hey, man. All I meant. You have a problem with them? No. No problem at all. An impenetrable smile at the lieutenant. I hate Gary. How do I up my composure? All right. What is uh, what is lowering composure? Anything? Nothing is lowering composure. What can I wear to increase composure? Let's have your fair interfacing endurance. Aha! New shoes. Increase my composure. Oh, a jacket. Increases my composure. Let's go. Plus two to my composure. I'm taking speed. 
now that you've acquired some stimulants, oh, it's no. time for a little pick-me-up. Time to detect. Wait, but Kim is here. He'll be disappointed. Finally, an answer for me! See? That's your problem. A lack of confidence. Speed can help you with that. And, Kim, it can help you with everything. This is gonna be really bad for my health, isn't it? It's not ideal, no. <laughs> but you need the zeal. Let's face it, you're never going to finish this case without will the, cheating. Will that make me into a super cop? It will make you into more than that. A mega cop. This is your modus operandi. This is how you've done it for years. Let's go. I don't know if there's a downside to taking the speed more than just like, like I'm trying to figure out if there's story implications because losing morale is one thing. Like, okay, I lose morale. Like that sucks, but it's not like the worst thing in the world. Um, but I'm worried about the, uh, I'm taking it. You raise the bottle, close a nostril, and inhale furiously. The rush is almost immediate. It tastes bitter and caustic and stings a bit inside your nose. Mamma mia! Now the taste is slowly receding into your throat. Oh, it was, it was a, a, a task. Your little heart pounding like a bird in a cage. A sweat breaks out across your brow. Your jaw clenches. Whoa, this shit is strong. This shit is disco. Time for a little truth. Tell the lieutenant you did some. Clear the air. Okay. Hey, Kim, I'm sorry. I'm not your mother. I don't care. Do what you have to do. Oh, no. He avoids your gaze. Oh, no. As long as you remain functional, he thinks. Now. Let's get back to work. Spring, spring. Everything is clear around you. You're ready to concentrate on the next task in the task chain. In the bottom right corner of the Yeah, screen. I got it. <sighs> All right, well, my Motorix is up. All right, Gary, you piece, you, you absolute piece of shit. I'm not safe something. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just doing this for the sake of it. Gary. Always a pleasure to see an officer of the law. I mean, Officers. Seventy-two percent. That shirt looks yes! very uncomfortable on him. Look at the buttons, barely keeping that thing together, as if something is ready to rip out from underneath. He's wearing the armor underneath it. Yes, like a piece of ceramic armor, for example. Oh, Gary. You're dead, kid. Man. Pearls or marbles, stolen from the corpse in the yard near where he lives. I knew you'd figure it out, officer. Mm. I'm sorry I didn't tell you at once. I was... I was ashamed of what I did. And I didn't want you to know. Oh, shut the fuck up. You wanted a nice thing of armor, please. I want the same thing. I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed of what I did. Oh, Sponge Mom, this job sucks. If just shit my, shit my own ass out of my face. Fuck you. This shame is surprisingly sincere. God damn it, Empathy. I was happier when I thought otherwise. Gary, what's going on? Later, Morale. I've got apologizing to do. You got a lot of it. No, you've got explaining to do. Nice. Give me that armor now. He sighs again, hangs his head, and unbuttons his shirt fully. A cuirass that matches the dead man's boots comes into view. Soon it is in your hands, smelling of his sweat, but so, so light to hold, like a bag of cotton. This is it. This will protect your mortal shell. Don it and live. You put the clothes in the trash to get the armor. Everyone was picking those pieces off him, and I was watching them do it. And they'd scattered his clothes all over the yard. Everything was smelling. So I went there to take out the trash and started cleaning up. All those rags on the ground, him swinging up there, and I had a lapse of honor, sir. I thought, he's a foreigner. They all say he wasn't from here. What does him being a foreigner matter? Only the caress was left. So I stripped Bruh! It was early in the morning. No one saw me. I took it with me. It was a mistake. 
had I known it, it'd give you guys trouble, I... I wouldn't have... Fuck. It's okay. It was a loose end, and you are tying it up now. Oh my god. This is like... Gary is like so many 4chan users. They like, they like, he talks all big, you know, he like, he like talks so big and he like has this like his, his racist ideology. But the moment, the second someone with authority shows up to talk to him, he fucking crumbles. He absolutely quivers and crumbles the moment any kind of authority arrives. Ugh. I'm so fucking sorry I called you yellow man. CLIT officers commanded the Suzerain's Navy. Most of them sided with the king when... I don't care. Though he, while he does sound somewhat sincere, I don't much care. Kim, Kim can decide whether or not he, uh, he forgives you. It's difficult to say what the lieutenant thinks of this historic apology. His face does not belie emotions. I prefer that. Because I was weak. I should have told you the moment I saw you, but- The hell, Gary? You in trouble? <laughs> I love Morel constantly butting in. I'll explain later. I always thought it was the Union. Some Union hard asses lynched him because of the strike. But almost everyone in town knows that. I wish I could tell you more. Well, at least he's right about that one. Yes, absolutely. I will never do anything like this again. Hey, Kim. Yes? You seem to be following me. Excuse me? Did nothing. Just an observation. You have a, a distinctive way of walking. If I were to walk in front of you, we would surely collide. <laughs> what do you mean distinctive? I hope you don't take this the wrong way. <laughs> it's just a collegial observation. In the 57th, <laughs> we call it the Jamrock Shuffle. Officers from Jamrock's 41st precinct tend to move a bit erratically. The Jamrock Shuffle? They say it's a scene clearing technique developed by one of your lieutenants for gathering evidence. It's what? erratic yet thorough. Prioritizes containers. Oh. Yes, but containers contain things. That's Shining. racist. I don't prioritize yeah. containers. Interesting. Why containers? I don't know. Containers <laughs> contain, I guess. I'm making assumptions. We should move on. Passing along frivolous interdepartmental stereotypes is not usually his oeuvre. He regrets bringing it up. All right, fine. Holy shit. Plus one volition and pain threshold and a loss of empathy. Mania of invulnerability. That's funny. I thought it would actually give me a little bit more, but this is fine. Well, we found we found a lot, actually. Oh, logic. The white ceramic cuirass hugs your torso, shielding your vitals without adding much bulk to your form. That's shocking how powerful this stuff is. Your movements cause tiny little clicks, like dice rolling somewhere far away, as the plates reorient to your motions. I will be responsible with this. The hardened, vitreous enamel, at once sleek and light, adds a glow to your cheeks and a spring to your step. Just imagine what a full suit of this stuff could do for you. I won't get the full suit. We lost the body. I couldn't take his legs. You really do feel more confident. Invulnerability does that. Even partial invulnerability. I want the full suit. It may be a while before you have all the pieces. In the meantime, you should analyze the armor. Figure out its vulnerabilities. Remember, this is a highly specialized kinetic redistributor meant to stop bullets. Wear it. Observe its properties. Hmm. See if there's a weakness in the design. For the day you have to fight someone covered in the same material. You know, they actually make a good point. There's a, the Fairweather Teeth 
it really hurts to punch someone in this armor. A sword wouldn't leave even a scratch. A bullet would bounce right off. Still, there must be a flaw that would let you stand your ground against this dangerous enemy technology. You know, that's actually pretty fucking smart, actually. Yeah, I kind of want to learn about that. I'm going to save my skill point for a, um, a possible check in the future. You know what? I'm going to go check out Morel's traps while I'm here. Why not? I found glasses. Oh, here they are. Oversized superstar glasses. Cyber fair and visual calculus. Damn, I look ugly. All right, hold on. I need to get proper drip. I wish I had a better hat, but this is all I got. There's a trap in the reeds at your feet. Behind you, the ruins of a residential building rise over the reeds, shielding them from the wind. The reeds rustle confidently. When this district was booming, the reeds were kept at bay. Nothing obscured the freshly painted facades. Nowhere for drunks and adventurous teenagers to hide. Now only the wind blows. Locusts are crawling around in the trap. Conf Big surprise. Oh my anyway, god. Anyway, one down, three to go. I don't need a grade. I'm not expecting. If I'm helping some citizens and getting some fresh air. I meant no offense. Just. He doesn't know how to finish the sentence. He looks at you putting the trap back in the ground. See, Kim, I never ever want to be mean to you, but like a friend, sometimes you need a good, a good smacking, a mental smacking. I have no, I have nothing good to say, but, but I have nothing but good things to say to you, Kim, but sometimes you gotta, no, I can't go that way. You gotta get a little, uh, like, hey, stop being mean. I mean, I can't go that way. But I can't tell. People paid money to park here? No. Well, no, they did. A scattering of bullet holes is spread across the cracked wall. Oh my God. from one corner to the other. Look, Kim, even more bullet holes. Mm, correct. The density of the bullet holes is unusual. Even in a general average bullet hole frequency in Martinez sense. Grim affairs. This looks like a firing squad that they line people up on. Meaning this is a lot of bullet holes. Looks like fully automatic rifle fire. Something you don't see these days. The manufacturing and sale of automatic rifles was curtailed after the revolution. The destructive power of such tools proved to be too much. We do need to retain some humanity in this world. Hmm, topical. A row of ghosts oh, yeah! face in the wall. There are many of them. A dozen at least. The heads lowered. Twenty-eight percent folded. It's quiet. No sound. No movement. Mm, that looks like a firing squad. Ten meters away. Other shades are lined up in an orderly manner. Damn. Automatic I feel proud of myself for realizing the, the firing squad thing. By. The coats of the firing squad flap slowly in the breeze. A single person stands on the side. The sun blazes high up in the sky, baking the planks, the sand, your skin. The order was carried out in the afternoon. Mm. A long time has passed since the moment of this fusillading. Rain and brine have since washed all the blood away. Not a trace remains. The abundance of bullet holes leads to two options. Either an inordinate amount of executions were performed here, or they did not use a conscience round mm -hmm. where only one soldier has the loaded rifle. Looks like this was a mass execution with everyone fully armed. I remember conscience rounds for for a while during firing squads. Uh, everyone would have a rifle, and most would just have blanks. Um, but only one person would have the actual bullet to kill the guy. So even though you all fired a, a shot, none of you know which one of you actually shot the bullet. And since there was like ten of them, it was the chance that it was you was like what, like ten percent or something, or at worst like twenty percent if you were five. So there was a damn good chance you can kind of mentally convince yourself that you were not the one who killed this person. Even if you did. A host of I remember that. Probably. I remember learning about that in school. Ragged from the conflict and covered in dust. They were not sitting. A 
common practice for executions in some nations, as demonstrated by the height level of the bullet holes. And they were standing, they weren't like, uh, backs turned. They stand, facing the wall. It's impossible to discern any details about their personality or background. Ordinary people, familiar, each and every one of them. Comrades, the forsaken, the wretched, who tried to rise against the horrors of the world. Seven men in combat uniforms and dark coats, holding automatic rifles aimed at the people. Soldiers from some side, but from which one? Men of duty, dark duty. So I'd be the, uh, yeah, I'd be the, the government. Murderers, twisted by orders, young boys forced into killing. Yeah, no conscience rounds either. The commandant, the one who gives the order. Machine gun fire crackling through the air. The lights of the muzzle flashes dancing on his face. I don't know. I don't know who died here, lined up beside that horrible wall. It could have been any of the parties involved in the revolution. Mm, I assume it would probably be the communists. Perhaps the ones anything. executed here were the loyalist conservatives killed by the communists at the start of the civil war. Or it could have been the communists put to death during the last stretch of the conflict by the coalition forces. Oh, what if it was the Feld personnel? That's a good point. Another likely scenario. Or maybe. But if the, but the people from the coalition, the so-called moralists. Yeah. It's very unlikely the coalition forces were the ones who died here. They were always the last ones against the wall. Mm. To be honest, if a coalition member was anyone in this situation, it was a commandant. The superior giving the orders. A cold sea wind blows away the figures. Hmm. That was quite the discovery there. I'm gonna be rich with all these balls by the time I'm done. And by rich, I mean have some money. Okay, actual question for, for chat right now. Is it actually possible to buy um the 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 street light that Roy sells? Oh, a new hat. Oh, it's still not great. It is? Is it excruciatingly difficult? Because it's 700 real, right? Hmm, so I actually can't get around here, huh? So this, it just ends right there? Okay, so I need to go up. Oh, we need to check his trap. They're already gone, wow. This is the trap Morel just set. Checking it over, he said, is the reeds by the abandoned campsite hiss and shake. It's good the cryptozoologists left. This isn't a very cozy place to stay night after night. The later it gets, the colder. Remnants of the camp can still be seen in the sand. The fire that's gone out. You feel strange, somehow. This trap is also full of panicked locusts. No sign of any cryptozoological beast inside. Another empty trap. Mmm, okay. How are you enjoying the cardio, Lieutenant? I'm enjoying it quite by myself. Always up for a good jog. Otherwise, would I still be on this case with you? <laughs> Fair. Uh, can I go north? No. I can't walk there, so... Let's see. What were the other two traps I need to check? Lands in far northeast of the failed building and the canal you crossed. Okay. I actually have a lot more left in this day than I thought. It's a door there. That's northwest. 
northeast would be up here. It says that the music is struggling to work here very well. A kick drum pulse. Music is coming somewhere on the ice. The shadow of the St. Bruin, 1147. Dusty, wait, they said there's music. Wait, hold on, I wanna go up this way first. Because we need to get to his trap. There's the reeds up here. Oh, it's church, yeah. Man, the music is struggling right here. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, the music kind of going in and out a little bit, but it's trying. There's a machine or something over there. Hold, hold on. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna finally for once actually try to stay on my objective. Let's do the reeds. This trap's not too hard to The reeds sway in the coastal breeze. They seem to be waiting for something. The wind picks up here, near the cape's end, surrounding the narrow strip of land from three cardinal directions. It's cold for this time of year. Nothing but locusts in this trap as well. Empty as all of them. One more of these and we are done. One more time, I must stress that I did not expect a cryptozoological monstrosity to be in this trap. Of course. Noted. <laughs> he doesn't believe me. He doesn't believe me for a second. Cigarette butts on a brand. Campfire here long ago. Scented scarf. I'm gonna keep the necktie on. I feel like I should keep the necktie on. Just because he talks sometimes and it's funny. It's very funny. Alright. Um. Let's go this way. Oh yeah, that audio is really having a difficult. It's really having a difficulty. Huh. Maybe it's just me hearing it. I can't tell. It's like only in this area too. Could this post hide treasure? Oh shit! It did. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Money! Drugs! So much money! Oh, they're gone. That was all the money and drugs. Oh. You see that seagull up there? Remind you of anybody? Oh my god, I, I'm not going to say Kim. Uh, no one comes to mind. You. You and the seagull are just alike. Why? Think about the seagull's story. It's one of endurance. Bad luck to kill a seabird. The seaside was paradise once. They were birds of that paradise. Then their paradise became shit city. And what did they do? They became urban survivors, eating burgers out of trash cans, killing and eating pigeons. No time for that sentimental bullshit. They're hustlers getting shit done. They're one pair of track pants away from gangsters, just like you. Fucking right. Whatever it takes to survive, I am the seagull. Own it. Steal hot dogs, shit in the sand, whatever it takes to keep going. Let's go. Wait, I can hear the music. A 
grain of etonite has been planted into the snow. Two poles are holding it up, barely holding it up. It could fall over any minute. A stronger gust of wind might be enough. It looks like a makeshift bridge. Could be convenient. The pain falls into the icy snow Push. with a soft thunk. We should ask that girl on the ice what's going on here. I agree, but there's money right here. Man, I'm finally rich. I've got $36. I can literally hear the music. It's just tarpaulin fabric covering a pile of stuff. The flap is open. Inside, three young men are oh. listening to some new form of music. There's three men in there. It's like nothing you've ever heard. One of them looks at you. Come on, get in and close the flap behind you. The warm stuff's getting out. It's safe to assume this is their leader, or at least he thinks he is. I, I'll squeeze in later. I want to talk to the lady. Hi, lady. A shaggy looking girl in her late teens a, a or cell? early twenties. A cell? Kneels yeah. on the ice with an electronic contraption in her hand. Hearing you approach, she looks up. Oh, hello there. Ah, uh, hi. It's cold out here, but she's not wearing a hat. She must be freezing. Does she want a hat? Everyone knows drugs make you invulnerable to cold. You bet this one likes to party. Uh, dear child, it's freezing. Where is your hat? Huh? What? Maybe she didn't hear you. A little louder. You should have a hat on! So should you. I do! You don't have to do anything. I should, and I do, point to your hat. Oh, I didn't notice that. This bitch is tripping. I want what she's having. Yeah, well. Look, man, fuck the hat. Your pulse rises. What did she just say? That's not how a civilian is supposed to address an officer of the law. Damn straight. Regain authority. Oh my god, it's red check. Regain authority. 17% easy. Your eyes are fixed oh! as everything gets very still. Dangerously so. <laughs> what did you say? She looks down, pretending to be busy with the device. Make her meet your eyes. The kid isn't arrogant. She's just afraid to look you in the eye. You already put her in her place. Kick some snow into her face with your boot. No, I'm not doing that. I am the police. You would do well to avoid this kind of language with me. You're right. I shouldn't have sworn. I'm sorry. So it's like a, like a scolded schoolgirl. Her years concealed beneath thick makeup. Oh, I hope she's not like a groupie. Like she just gets passed around by the dudes in the tent. Because I, I, I'm not getting great feelings right now, considering what, what the dudes in the tent were acting like. Her hair is dyed blonde, with dark roots showing. Most men wouldn't exactly call her pretty. There is a manliness to her. A coarseness. Hey, a little bit of manliness isn't bad. I, 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 will, I will say that I do notice that the jawline is pretty strong. I have some questions for you. Okay. Yeah, that's a really strong jawline. God damn. I'd, I'd, I'd almost assume that she wasn't a girl by this portrait, or at least, like, androgynous or non-binary or something. I can't quite tell. What's your name? A cell. What's your surname? Why? Cuz? Okay, it's Berger. <laughs> no, 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 no. You have little reason to doubt that's her real name, but she's not all that surprised by this cop show questioning, is she? What's the device you have there? This. It's a portable recording device. It's for field recording. Low quality, but still. Why is she, she just acting weird? Actually, just one wire. I picked on it till the braiding came loose. The wire leads to a contact microphone. Which is? A contact mic records sounds from inside things, like this ice. Nice. You could maybe bug someone with it. Wiretapping. The mic? I don't exactly know. Somehow it doesn't pick up vibrations from the air. 
The box said it only picks up structure born sound. If you like techno babble. Where'd you get it from? Same place I got the recorder from. The Palisseum. Which is? Oh man. You haven't been to the Palisseum? It's the coolest place in this whole drug addled shithole. It's a music club and a synthesizer workshop on Boogie Street in Jamrock. Musicians live there. Boogie like Street. Musicians. I once saw Arno Van Eyck. Thinking about it really cheers her up. It's a long way from here, though. Sounds like a place for congregating homosexuals. We love ourselves some good old West Hollywood. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Who is this Arno guy? I guess you wouldn't know Van Eyck. Or really be a Palisium going kind of person. Uh, I get down. I don't know what that means. I grind. I don't know what that means either. Nor do I, but I have concrete evidence that I rock in the form of a wrecked tape player and a completely trashed hostel room. That's cool. You're right, time has deserted me. Sucks, man. Was there something else? About the contact mic, perhaps? <laughs> Rip my morale? Okay. What are you doing out here? Recording, I guess. What is up with- okay, okay, I know she doesn't want to talk to me, but I'm- I'm- The fact that she doesn't is confusing to me. I think I'm recording cracks in the ice. But there's no way to tell. Not without headphones. I think I just recorded your footsteps too. Not sure how that will sound. My boyfriend sold them. What happened to the headphones? Oh, oh, why? I don't know, man. Things. Just stuff you need for life. What? Everything checks out, sire. God, it's a drama. <laughs> the musicians in the Palisseum used them for making music. They looped the stuff, cutting the tapes together. They make music out of cracks in the ice and keys jangling. Crazy sounds like that. Okay. To explain. So what? It's just like, like Foley work? Anyway, I thought I'd make some too. It's supposed to be like a music place anyway. The girl is cold all of a sudden. Very cold. I don't really know what I'm doing. They use synthesizers too. I don't have a synthesizer. I'm getting depressed girl who thought her life was going to go a different way and is now with a rock band uh, wannabe boyfriend who she she likes to a certain extent, but um, doesn't have the will or or want or way to leave him. She looks at the recording device. The thing she thought would fill her hours with joy and escape. It's turning out to be an empty fantasy. She feels childish. Very useless all of a sudden. I feel like I might have gotten it right. Take this. You're cold. No, man. Fuck that. I'm cool. I'm sorry I said that. I'm sorry about the fuck. It's okay. Here, have a hat. Thanks. Oh, rest in peace, my hat. That was actually a really good hat. I kind of wish I kept that one. That had some pretty good... That had some really good stats. You said it's supposed to be a music place. What is... That? The boys think it could be a place. The church? Like a palisseum or something. Stupid. It's really not going to be a palisseum, that's for sure. The boys in the tent? Yeah. Andre and the guys... They're inside, in the tent. Go ahead. Tape recorder lies in the ice like a discarded toy. Pick it up. Plus one, you gave her the hat. What is a music place you've been planning in the it's church? It's supposed to become, like, a club. For anodic dance music. Like that new style Some of nice synthesizer stuff they play oops, at the Palisseum. Oops, 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 Except oops, that... Stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. The fact that it's a, a horrible church. That's like decrepit. The floorboards are twisting, and the shooting beams are slowly cracking like bones. Far east of the Golden Delta, beyond the industrial port, there is a black patch of unlit coast with the smallest creatures on the ice. There will never be a club for anodic music here. Not in a million years. But what is anodic music? You know, anodic, cathodic, music that's made with electronic instruments. Nice Synthesizers and tape consoles. Microcomputers too. Anything that uses electricity, but isn't guitars. 
Also found sounds, stuff like that. You see clear. So she's trying to make music the with the found light. stuff from the. Okay. Light cutting through a smoke-filled darkness. That is what the future will look like, if it ever comes. So you want to turn a church into a club? I know. It's not my idea. Andre and the boys found the place. It was supposed to be deserted, but now they can't even take it. Hey, you two are cops. Yes, why do you ask? Okay, well, maybe you could talk to Andre and the guys, because there are some strange things going on in that church. If you're police, you should look into it, right? I'll talk to them. They're inside that thing there. Would be cool if you did. Was there something else? Go ahead. You seem he's rather comfortable being questioned. Why is that? Well, it's just questioning, right? You're just questioning me. It's what cops do. Been the question before? Once or twice, yeah. I'm sorry I haven't had the Revishaw experience they get east of the river. Like, in jail? Rich people. Rich people are east of the river. I love these options. Let's lean. Let, let me guess. These rich people are not from around here. Aren't they? I thought they were as fashionable as any of us. Just way richer. Wait, I don't know exactly what I said. Oh, no. They're foreign bodies. Agents of international capital. You only need to look close enough. Oh, did I choose the racist option? Oh, I meant more of like a, they don't understand how us people live. Like us down to earth Martinez people. Did I do like the... Oh no. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Most of them do speak three languages. Did I just make like a oops? The usual. I had a shitty run as a teenager. You know, drinking, getting into fights, the ugly stuff that happens when you move out your parents' place at 13. In Fulberg. I, I, I chose the racist option. Crap. Is this a rhetorical question? No, literally. <clears throat> Fulberg, not in Fulberg, is a massive banlieue south of Jamrock Quarter. It is the largest ghetto in Revachol. Possibly the world. Okay, I know what Jamrock is. My dad was a drunk. I know what Jamrock yes, is. I, guess. I just wanted to drink too, you know. Get my party on. Yeah. Me, me too. Major party animal. All right. She just doesn't even care about. She could. Idea. Uh, ah, uh, you know, forty-two percent. We hit these. The device is cold to the touch. An angular Omicron logo adorns the yellow plastic cover. Underneath, you see a reel of tape rolling. You put the device back on the ice. Okay. Bye. I have minus one empathy because of the armor. Uh. Hello again. The device is still warm from her touch and heavy as a brick. Damn, I'm good. The batteries inside. The company logo. Damn, I'm good. Adorns its yellow plastic cover. Easy. Inside, the tape is rolling. The girl looks at the device in your hands. I barely ever get to do like get many skill points and I'm using it on this crap I'm sorry to sit here on the ice feeling miserable at your age or at any age in this weather waiting for it to get dark she looks you in the eye her pupils wide surrounded by a ridiculous amount of makeup the people who built this world intended it to be better for you but they failed it is easier to live in their failure with this by your side tap on the tape recorder the wind howls she remains silent it's real Tell her. It's not a childish fantasy. It can be a real weapon against what's coming for you now. What is? The dark? I know. I'll stick to it. Something changes between you two. She looks at you differently now. As an equal. A fellow human being. So thanks, I guess, for the psych session. Maybe I can return it. What's been eating you, officer? E eating me? Come on, I can tell. But, okay. Be a boy or dare about it if you want to. 
I don't know what that means. I guess there is something that's been making my life hell. What is it? Oh, we're doing... Oh god, it's the racist option again. Um, what do we got here? Plight of the working class. So we got communism up here. Just mooching off the entrepreneurial class, shackling the doers. So we have the liberal option here. We have the nationalistic option here. And then... We have the moralistic option here. Uh, you know, I mean, considering we just found a dead working class man in the goddamn, uh, on the boardwalk, not fixed by the government, we'll go with the apply of the working class. Oh. Really? The golem of capital runs rampant, smashing creator and slave alike. I fear the process is irreversible. Wow. Social justice really matters that much to you. That's commendable. It really had you shaken up there. Are you sure that's it, though? I haven't seen much of this world, but when I've seen social justice as an adolescent term, it sounds almost liberal. What's got me shaken up is the people's struggle, and it's got me shaken up bad. I like the idea of the shaken up bad part. Yeah, man. They're pretty bad. She could give less of a... She couldn't even care. A thousand million plus. How many people are there, actually? Um, How many people are there in the world? 3.6 billion. Not counting those in sale. Why aren't we counting those in sale? Really that many? Reduces me to tears thinking of the 3.6 billion and God knows how many more in sale plays crushed under the tyranny of the market. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Are you sure you're not just hung up on some chick though? Yes! Hmm. Perhaps. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, she's right, though. Come on, get in. The warm stuff's getting out. Sure. Sorry, you barely have room for one. What? You go ahead. I'm too old for this. I am too, but you know. I'm actually not, he thinks. I just dislike delinquents. Same. I'm sure you will feel right at home. I'll keep watch. Oh my god, Kim. That's a little rude, but all right. Oh my god. I am I am I I feel like I have like a, like, a, like an adverse reaction to this. Let's sweat. Oh, this is this is good though. Canisters fill the pure with the water. The label says distilled. Pile of nasal sprays. A speaker. You see a youngish man. This is actually pretty good. Of his hair Soundtrack. Toothbrush. He puts the toothbrush down and extends his hand in greeting. Hello, I'm Andre. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll shake his hand. His grip is strong, sweaty, and warm. He's trying to project and inspire confidence. This is my posse, Noid. The young man with earrings looks at you suspiciously. Why does the dude look like Sephiroth in the guy in the? He does look like Sephiroth in his portrait frame, but the dude he he looks like he looks like Sephiroth in the back. An egghead. Egg. Oh my God, that image. Together with a little burger, who's out there right now doing some seriously progressive sonic experimentation? We like to think of ourselves as music venue organizers. How many music venues have you organized? We have many in the pipeline, officer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. You see, we've been all over Jamrock North, prospecting for real estate to establish a new venue in. Artists are for talent. <laughs> Wait, is he like, is he like one of those flamboyantly gay, like, like German slash European types? Yeah, thank you, Egghead. And while there is no shortage of raw, unfettered talent spinning tapes in Jamrock, we've had rotten luck with the real estate part. Place is a shithole. I, I apologize for my friend Noid's potty mouth. I realize this is not how you speak to a police officer. I he has authority issues. Okay. There's no need this place is pretty bad. Oh, uh... Which brings me to the problem of occupied ecclesiastical property. I bet you've noticed the derelict hive of narcomania on the coast. 
Yeah. An attempt to pander to your perceived conservative sensibilities. No person his age would ever use a word like narcomania with a straight face. Don't fall for it. All right. I'm talking about the church, and I'm not exaggerating. Even a place of spiritual refuge can become a magnet for all sorts of dope heads and burnouts if left unattended. Dope heads. <laughs> burnouts. Well, I'm sad to say that's exactly what happened. Sad because we were just about to put Martin A's on the map with one of the maddest dance clubs in Jamrock. Nah, strike that in Revershall. I'm in Jamrock? I thought I was in Martinez. Or wait, is Martinez a district in Jamrock? Or is I thought I thought Martinez was a city in Jamrock. Or is Revishall the city? Or is Re no Revishall's the capital. Right? It's the capital of the world. What's Jamrock? I right, screw it. Strike that! The world! So <laughs> That 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 portrait. Oh my God! That portrait. And sad yet, because the dope heads and burnouts hold up in there with the worst kind. He leans back a little, watching you with a steady, serious gaze, letting you imagine just how bad those dope heads and burnouts really are. I can't. I won't stand for narcomaniacs of any kind. No narcomaniacs on my watch. Yes, yes. And the worst part is, they're also spooky. What? I was hoping you would be the judge of that, officer. All I can say is, their spookiness is the kind that keeps us from restoring this church into a community center and a place of spiritual refuge. Oh. Also, they don't eat or clean the building. Shit's gonna collapse. People just wanna spin tapes without them spooking it up. Place has bad signs. No one can dance like that. <laughs> this guy. Thank you, Egghead. So you're gonna look into it, right? It should be a police matter. Getting them out. Whatever spooky stuff they're doing, I'm sure it's not what the Ecclesiastes meant their property for. You know what? Fine. All right, man. Andre's obviously very happy you took him seriously. The whole tent is. The boys exchange giddy looks. What's the status of the church? I asked Lloyd to install a measure against more drifters wandering in. A padlock is a temporary fix, just something to contain the situation. I had to do it in an hurry. Not my best work, but it should hold for a while. How long have those people been locked? Wait, were locked in there? Not long, like a week maybe. How can you be sure they haven't starved to death? I'm super sure they're alive. I mean, come on. I'm at least 90%, maybe 85% sure they're still alive. Andre! Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. I guess it wasn't very hardcore of us to just lock them in like that. <laughs> I just spit this out like it's nothing. Of course. Lloyd, give the officer the key. All right. Be a cool cop. Catch the key as it flies towards you. You sense the trajectory of the little piece of metal and plastic. The object makes a small ringing sound as it <gasps> Oh, I got it exact. I got it exact. 10 and 10. ka -ching. The key hits your palm. The speed freaks not to you approvingly. Thanks, man. Play it cool. The speed freak nods to you. A respectful nod. You proved something. Let's go. Sure, man. Tell us what you want to know. Who are the people inside the church? The truth is, I don't really know. None of us do. I don't even know how many there are. All we've seen are glimpses. Oh my god. Well, there's also the machinery. This machinery is of the deeply mystical variety. When I first scouted the place back in February, it was abandoned, empty. Took some time getting the crew together. So about two weeks ago, we came here hoping to set the stuff up. Suddenly, there are all these strange machines lying around in there. One of them has wires running into bowls of water. Wires into water. Never seen anything like it. Andre, tell him about the feeling. 
Oh, and it felt like there was something in there with us, watching us from the dark. No, the other one. <laughs> the other one? Uh, which other one? I'm not as in tune with my emotions as you are, Egg. Felt like silence. Awful silence. For this man, even regular silence is awful enough. But that was something greater. Not exactly. We've just seen someone that we think is a woman go in and out of the church a couple of times. And we felt someone or something eyeing us inside. But that's kind of it. Like you aren't alone, you know? It wasn't quite human, if you know what I mean. Non-human means a predator. Thanks, Half Life. It was this dark shape climbing upside down along the ceiling. What? Like some kind of crab man. Yeah, you know, the way it was climbing up and around the ceiling, like a crab. It was stalking a cell, exhibiting ambush behavior. Ambush behavior. Crab man. Crab out running and says there's a crab in there there's a crab in there okay you should ask her about it but be nice don't tell her you don't believe in the crab the implications of this are too numerous to consider proceed with caution learn all you can before entering that dark building can you tell me about the machinery you talk to Noid about that i just got a distinct burnout and dope head sign from them probably jacked up to some snuff station too probably very likely with a small surge of PEA, alertness fills you, as if to say, this is a dark corner. Look behind it. Some snuff you station? Like one of those rich boy private radio stations, where you can listen to people getting killed on, then jerk off to it. Sick shit. Not that we would know anything about that. Noid just likes to relay stuff. We're getting derailed here. Uh, sure, you can tell to Noid about the machines. He'll tell you more. How can you be sure they're burnouts and dobits if you haven't even seen well, them? Honestly, I can't, but I am. Why not? Let's go with that. God damn it. I'm 70% sure they're substance users. Don't let the technology fool you. Okay. Sure. What? Uh Ecclesiastics oh, own yeah. the church? That's a meteor and name for the founding party. Thought it'd be cool to use it. You know, of Meteo, concerning Meteo. What? Meteo, a country on Muindi, on the Muindi Isola. See if to see if you're kidding. Oh, the founding party. Uh, can you refresh I my memory? It, I've never really looked them up, you know. Oh my God. I can't give you a precise definition, but they're a very powerful religious organization, and they have roots in ancient mass society, and they're the custodians of the Periconassian Church. Plus, they anoint the innocents. They like made the innocentic system no you're totally wrong about that the pericarnassian church is about love and nordic music is about love i got love for my pericarnassian posse love is the relay out of death we dance <laughs> he violently shakes the tape player as if to, as if to see if he can love break is it hardcore. love is hard unity unity Make some noise for my insulindian posse. He turns the volume up, then looks at you without with a knowing nod, as if it's obvious you will now break into dance. You feel it. The anodes and the cathodes coursing through you. Your big toe starts tapping along to the base, as if testing the waters. I guess love can be pretty hardcore. Oh yeah, it can. He's coming around. You're getting it. Your pussy's like your people, man. Like you got your cup pussy. You look out for each other and you party together. That's a pussy. And where is your pussy, detective? Nothing comes to you. The world is silent. I now understand it was lame of me to suggest otherwise. Anotic music is about love and so is the Pericarnassian church. Seems ecstatic that you share his vision of pericarnassianism. Do it for the masses. Do it for the crew. 
I didn't want to say it, but it was pretty lame of you to imply otherwise. Anyway, you got more questions? The one with the large head is still looking at you, nodding his head, waiting for your body to start moving. Yeah! Let it out! Let the disco happen! Bring the disco into this world! Get this church shit on, and then dance there, motherfucker! <laughs> yes. What? Might I see you butt your own water? Yeah, yeah. Good to have. Bitch to carry. When oh I my god, my place, necktie. I some reconnaissance. I'm not sure the church even is running water. Uh, oh. The still two? It's the one they sell at the fuel station. It smells of sweat. It does, doesn't it? Yes. I told you we have a smell problem. Wait, I also smell I also smell ether. Why? Ether? I don't smell ether. Do you noid? No. It's mixed with a peculiar chemical scent like laundry detergent. He sniffs the air, then shrugs. What? A shrug is good enough for us. Oh my god. Why say it when you can shrug it? Oh god damn it. Why am I so it's I'm so stupid. The what now? Nosefed Ultra? Oh, the old Ultra. We, uh, I have a major sinus infection. Stuffy nose. We all do. Shit's all blasted up. Winter. Can't even breathe. Yes, that's all Nosefed's doing. Without the Noser, I'd be drowning in shit right now. Nosefed is the shit. Can I have some? Um, sure. Yeah! The Noser. Blast away. He nods enthusiastically, no doubt a little relieved. No, it's not even two logic. It's minus two logic. It's negative two logic. As always, we'll be right here. Oh my god. Do I even have anything that gives me more logic? I have a jacket. That's encyclopedia. Oh my lord. Hi again. So, uh, how things going? Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. Oh. We make these. Okay, so the Speed Freaks want to start a club for dance music. That much checks out. Youths like music. You feel as though you might have liked music more when you were young, too. But you digress. That's the narcomania. So one of them came <coughs> upon the abandoned church. They want to turn it into a club for dance music. But agents of narcomania have overrun it. You shudder to think of all the narco they must have already consumed in there. Narco is bad. Plus, and it has to be considered, you can't invent the future of dance music in this smelly old tent. Imagine if you had the church. That settles it. Analysis complete. <laughs> Their story checks out. It still feels as if this didn't quite go as it should have. But... As always... All right, I have to talk to Egghead and the other guy. We'll do Noid first because Egghead is more important. Good. It's good you talked to Andre first. Gave me time to get a reading on your sign. Can't really talk to people before you get a reading. Yeah, gotta compare. See if we can align. Ah, oh, yes, I am. I am a Gemini. I suck at socializing, man. Even now, our sign synchronization is way off. I'll see what I can do. Weird stuff. God damn it. Specialized. There was a data processor and some sort of long wave machinery. Wires going into water. Gives off a spy sign. Or some spy sign? science sign. You know, the kind that goes head first into the supernatural. Nothing's wrong with it. You should definitely be researched. You can still do sick shit with it though. The sickest? That's perhaps why it should be researched. Okay. Most of it doesn't exist, but there's also stuff that isn't allowed to exist because the moralists think it's too dangerous for the plebs. Sonic powers, the plebs. pale-related diseases. There's that pale thing again. Human, 
Weird. Folk rights, that kind of stuff. The hardcore aesthetic is esoteric. It's not meant to be discussed with the law at this moment. It's not easy to reach a harmonic resonance of signs without some adjustment. Do we need sign matching? Yes. Further sign matching would do good for us. One way to achieve oh my God. this would be by getting us into the church. All right, hey, Egghead. A young man with peroxide blonde hair holds up a Harmon Walshy tape player, nodding along to the music. He looks at you with a knowing smile and says, as though you're supposed to be sharing some tremendous evangelical secrets. Hardcore! Say nothing. Hardcore! Still say nothing. Hardcore to the mega! Oh, there it is. Internally coherent. Hardcore to the mega. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> Still say nothing. Encore! All right! Yeah! Say nothing. He furrows his brow as his very large head. Very large the head. Invisible movement of the music in the very real air of the stuffy tent. Hardcore! Ah! So hardcore! Is it though? It is! But is it? I mean, really? Feels like you should reply with the very pinnacle of idiocy here, so that things get totally transcendent. But you haven't gotten there yet, so you don't know what to say. I was thinking that too! I am the mic enforcer! I am the chick's checker! Yeah! Could there have been a right way out of this garden of forking paths, you think? Solve the egghead puzzle? Oh my god, okay, okay, we have to- I gotta get out of here. Holy shit. Holy shit.